Well, Larry Gelwix, who I play, is uh, a coach in Salt Lake City, Utah, for the uh, the Hi- Highland Rugby Club, which is fairly legendary in the area and beyond. Um, they've been <laughs> domin- dominating for quite a while uh, in the region, and uh, they just, again, I guess, took the Nationals the 18th year in a row. And at the center of it is, is a, uh, this kid, Rick, who Sean Ferris plays, who, you know, kind of gets himself into trouble, trouble enough that he's incarcerated, and um, through kind of a, uh, a a plan to rehabilitate him, he winds up playing for Coach Gelwix. I had been to a couple rugby matches, only a, purely accidental almost. When I was in college, there was a guy by the name of Cass, I remember his name, and he, I went to Illinois State University, and he was on my dorm room floor, and he invited us all to his, he said, hey, I'm on the rugby club here, so I want you all to come to the match. It's wild, he said. Guys, you're killing each other. Then there's a great party afterwards. And he was, he was, it was true on all counts. It's the wildest party I've ever seen. Um, but uh, yeah, it was the first time I saw it, and it was like, I was like, my God, does anyone get up after this and walk away? I hope so, because no wonder you got to have a party after this, just to, you know, deaden the pain. I think Sean's terrific. I think Sean, Sean really earned his money, because not only did he, did he have to, um, he goes through a big emotional roller coaster, which I think he handled really well, and, and, and always was ready and, and always, uh, you know, performed what was expected of him to do, you know. Um, I had a great time with him, you know, as... As it seems these days, I look around and I was the seemingly senior member of the cast. Most of the time that's true now. I don't know what that means, but I'm looking over my shoulder a little bit. But um, no, I had a great time. It was, uh, it was uh, inspiring for me. I'm a sucker for a great sports movie, I don't, for, for whatever reason. I, I was a wannabe athlete. I mean, I was a, I was a for a short period of time, uh, you know, I, I played football uh, in, in high school for a couple years and... and uh, uh, baseball most of my you know child and into an adolescent life and and you know so coaches were part of my life and and um, and good ones were you know it was significant it was great it was um you know i got kind of hooked up on that because of judd apatow uh judd produced uh talladega nights and um and i was a huge fan of um of seth rogan's um with the movies that he did with Judd, with uh, being super bad and knocked up, and uh, uh, and now this, um, and so I had, I had a, you know, it was, it was big and goofy and, and a lot of fun, you know, it was a it was a fun place to go, but it, it turned out good. And Seth is, um, he's he's loaded with talent. He really is. He's not only a great performer, but he's he's creating this material with his partner. Uh, Evan uh, Goldberg and uh, so they've got right now they're really tapping into something they've got something going on so good for them well the one, one of the few ad libs that got left in the movie for me anyway was um, w- our, our characters spent a lot of time you don't really see that much of it in the movie because a lot of it was cut out but a lot of the riffing that Rosie and I did was we would get into arguments and the angrier she got at me she usually began to speak Spanish. So I remember one scene, she, I, I don't know, I, I gave her some smart-ass remark, and then she, she just gave me like a, one of those cold, you know, stares that she, she, she does. Then she started hitting me, you know. And I, so the first thing I think of is, go ahead, I dare you, say something in Spanish. And that's where they cut out, so. But we had, we had a great time together. She's great. I'm the dinosaur of the group. Um, I'm still looking for my Walkman. There's a term from the late 80s, ladies and gentlemen.